So, <clears throat> there's the aronia right here. I'm going to put in this uh, bamboo lattice thing to grow some beans. Strawberries, gooseberry. In the back, there's an elderberry and a honeyberry. Here's the dry region with a lemon balm and a mugwort in the back. Plum tree. That back there is a raspberry, and along the fence is a Thompson seedless grape, and a quince tree. And I keep letting uh, milk thistle come back. One plant a year for some seeds. And this is a Cabernet grape. And at its feet in the back is a rhubarb. Have uh, apples on this sentinel. I don't know if you can see them yet. I've got a red and a white apple. And here in the pot is a pawpaw next to a, an almond. This here is horseradish. In the back, there's some hops growing up the vine, and a fig, and some perpetual spinach, and some lettuce. That's what's tall here. Catnip. And down here at the bottom is a kiwi. And and more lettuce volunteer and drew some artichoke, more horseradish, potatoes that have volunteered. Uh, I planted them here a few years ago and they keep coming back so I throw dirt on them and let them come on in. We have the cherry, some leeks, uh, winter wheat for a compost crop. I like to let it go to seed, uh, fight the mice so that I can save the seeds. Uh, down here is a volunteer uh, rhodiola. Another grape. This is a uh, Chardonnay. Put in a huckleberry this year. Here's an umi plum, oregano. As you can see, 
the garden looks a little different from the last video. This is uh, everything that comes back in every year after winter. It's really, really fun to see this grow. Nothing much to see in the old pond. Nothing's really thriving yet. Uh, here's another honeyberry on the ground here. Small. It's uh, partners over here. Uh, rosemary coming in. Apple. This, these are uh, little big apples. There's one here. And see if I can point it out right over here somewhere <laughs> uh, is another one. There's uh, yeah, two little big apples. They're only going to grow like six feet tall. Comfrey in the back. On the ground there, a little small, is a Saskatoon blueberry. Potatoes are growing in the cage there. I have another almond. This one in the ground. Over on that other property over there, I planted corn and beans and squash and corn. I said corn. Uh, pumpkins. Some sorghum again. See if that comes in. And uh, so yeah, just a couple things growing in the yard. It's not that big. Asparagus. Uh, and this pot is a Merlot grape. Tomatoes in pots and over here has some lettuces that we're not eating fast enough. And peas, spinach. The other sentinel apple. Yeah. So yeah, that's the garden. It's uh, what is it? June eleventh. Two thousand eleven. So, yeah, there's the garden. Uh, not organized at all. I, uh, decided to uh, follow the forest gardening method after a couple re years of realizing that I was already doing it. Now I followed the rules because I learned them. Well, some of them. Things like stacking plants, trees, everything in the garden is fruit, vegetable, or medicine. I don't think that there's much just use, and not very much that's just pretty. Alright, hope you enjoy. Thanks.